Hello YouTube, this is Telltale Computers, your host Charlie. Today I figured I'd do some old hardware benchmarking for you guys. I have two enterprise storage Western Digital hard drives, the 2.5 inch hard drives. I do believe I'm not mistaken. They're made from March 29, 2011. So they're roughly about just a little over nine years old. These are your 300 Viper Raptor drives, 300 gigabits, oh, gigabytes, sorry. And I'm not mistaken, I do believe there's a, these are the 10K RPM drives. And usually your traditional hard drive is 7,200 7, RPMs, or 7,200 7, rotations per minute. Basically meaning how how many times in the circle it goes per minute. Kind of like your attack dominant in your car. It's basically the same function. Um, so instead of going 7,200 7, circles per minute, these are going 10,000 reps per minute or rotations. So for a tiny hard drive, so basically think of, imagine a laptop hard drive being like about that big. Um, about this, this is a little thicker than an SSD drive, but the same uh, width and length. Spinning roughly 10,000 RPMs. It's really, really fantastic. It's kind of like a mini SAS drive for a um, server. But with uh, SATA hookups for a uh, desktop. Which is kind of cool. With enough intro, I got uh, up here HD tune. I'll show you guys a quick demonstration of one drive benchmark versus RAID. I do have these drives RAID and RAID uh, 1. So they're basically two times read and write speed, theoretically speaking. So for all I do, here's HD tune and let's start. And you guys see the model number is roughly in the description. Don't actually read that too well. If not, it's a WDC WD three thousand HLFS dash seventy five G six U one. If you guys are curious about the model numbers, you can how you get these guys pretty cheap on eBay. They're not bad. They're pretty much a step above your traditional hard drive back in that time period. So. It's kind of some uh, SSD drive, but not as fast as in terms of read and write and I/O. But it does give you a general idea how fast these smaller hard drives can produce. At the moment, if you see the maximum transfer rate is 125, and minimum is 67. So it's not too bad. That's per second. Now these drives are hooked up to SATA 3.0. If I'm not mistaken, I do believe these drives are SATA 2. But max out at 1.5 gig, uh, gigabits a second. Or bytes. So, yeah. So it's not too bad, Matt. I think they still make uh, 3.0. No, sorry. SATA 3. Uh, 10K drive still. Don't know if these. I know they still produce them for SAS uh, drive applications, but I'm not completely 100% sure about SATA 3 for desktop if they still produce them or not to to this day for desktop use only. So, but that's about it for me. And if you see here, it pretty much gives you a little graph of everything you need to know. And later I'll give you more details as I finish the transfer rate test. And then I'll run the same benchmark of a different program and RAID format. So you can see the difference versus a single drive versus dual drives. Now the only thing HD Tune doesn't really tell you is the size of the file or bit size or 
qubit size files are using to test that drive with. We had a cool they did, but eh, still a good um, ground zero of what these drives are able to do, especially for the time periods. And we're just past the 85 mark percent marker. And went from 67 down to 54, still dropping a little bit. So that's not too, too bad. As they're ticking away. <laughs> now, you saw the same setup as in a previous few videos. It's just AMD FM2 7850K for the CPU, so that's APU. So it does have a graphical processor emitted in the die itself. And in other words, an ASRock gaming board, which is not too bad. I don't remember the model on off of my head. And then you have the GTX 950, two gigabyte card for video output. So that's not too too bad. Since test is finally finished, its burst rate is 96.5 megabytes a second, using 24.1% of the CPU. And that gives you a general idea. Now, to minimize that, now we'll head into RAID test bench. Now, this program is set to default at 1024 x 64, 128 IOs, and the rotation is 320, if I pronounce that right. So, let's start that up, and you'll see what it looks like to run two drives in RAID 1. This benchmark takes roughly about a few minutes. It does both read and write benchmarks. And if you can tell up here, bits per iteration is eight megabit, megabytes, and then total data set size is 2.4, oh sorry, 2.5 gigabytes. To give us a general idea of what they're doing as transfer rise. And as that's going on, the temperature still reads at 36C to 38C for, uh, yeah, 35C for the second drive, 36C for the other drive. I know this processor is running at 64C, oh, it's only because the GPU within it doesn't help the heat. Hence why the beefy ass cooler is on top of the CPU, or APU for that matter. And it's complete. So for the right performance, the minimum is 6.87 megabytes a second. The max is 145.42 megabit. Oh, sorry, megabytes. The least is 89, and the average is 98 for right performance. Read performance in a 30 second time span is 147.95 megabytes. The average is 137.25 megabytes, and a min is 7.29 megabytes a second, and the max is 159.63 megabytes a second. That's using both drives. Now we take the single drive here, and we compare. The maximum transfer rate is 125. Over here, it increases for the max at 20 megs higher for right and 12 higher for for uh, read performance. Now for minimum is 47. For mid over here, or sorry, for least amount is about 89. So it did, it did pretty much almost double for write and for read it about tripled. So that's not too bad. So it gives you guys an idea about RAID 1 with these Raptor drives from Western Digital. I think that's a, a pretty good win-win. So, little quick video. So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And next, I'll be doing I'll do a read one with some old SSDs I have laying around from Samsung. And you guys can compare and, and contrast between the two for that time period. And let me know in the comments below. 
And also another future video, I'm gonna run both ni the 950 GTX. That runs perfect with the 950 GTX I just fixed, which I saw that this is in my previous video, which I'll link below. And I'm gonna run these in SS SRI mode, since the SRI cable finally came in the mail. And that'd be a cool video for future reference. And I'll probably do the same exact ray test on an Intel setup. And also with a new with a Ryzen 1 setup. So you guys can contrast and compare based on what each system processor and will actually give you if it's different or stays the same or changes a few to percent points. So before I do, thanks for watching. If you like to do give me a thumbs up. Like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.